Hey there, fellow and fellas. Welcome back to Legendary Max Videos. I know, that one's crazy. But here, my kid. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm actually going to reintroduce you guys to the server. Uh, I've done a recent video of this just not too long ago, but it was sort of crappy and I just don't like it. Um, so what I've, what I've been recently doing, there's still some minor updates going on. And at the moment, we don't have a kit start. I mean, we do, but it's crappy and we want to update that. So, later future, all you're going to be doing is, you'll get a little kit, but it ain't nothing special at the moment. Huh? Sorry, I typed that in wrong. Typed it in wrong again. Maybe I deleted it. I don't remember. Yeah, okay. Apparently I deleted it. But anyhow, when you join, you'll land on that pressure plate. It will say your name, and for the rules, you can get that get the rules that way. You can access that anytime you want. So you can always be aware. Um, over here we're actually putting in the mini games. As you see above. It used to be the creative. But bad things happened. So I got rid of it. As you saw in the last video. I'm in a big process of trying to get that completely done. So you guys can have a lot of fun in that. Um, the factions. I'll get to that in a minute. We're actually start from Plot Me and work our way over to factions. The Plot Me world I've transferred over a little bit. You all get one plot each. That's it. Donators can have a special plot in any world they want, I guess, that's protected at all times for, like, shops and whatnot. This is, all this is, is here, is, now it's for shops. If you have a shop, you can place it here. You can live here if you want, but it's mainly going to be for shops for people to go in to find a quick shop to buy from. It's going to be quick, easy, and simple. And when you walk around, you, for some reason, you always spawn over here, so you'll just walk around. And go up to here. You'll read here. Then it tells you what's going on. I mean. There is a way I can. Make it so you all. That donate. Can get another plot in here. Or. I can also just go ahead. Instead of. Making all the extra permissions. To go through. I'll give you a plot to use. Like I'll give you parent permission of it. And everything. So. It's easy and whatnot For you. And I don't have to get into a whole bunch of permission system crap. You're probably thinking. Well that's going to be a pain in the butt. Not really. Pain and butt is permissions. No one likes them. Okay, so we'll head back. And I'm going to mention this as I'm heading to the next place. Is I'm really needing staff. I'm so low in staff, it's not funny. You don't get paid yet, but in order for people to get, to get start getting paid, when we start getting our donations in, that go in toward the server. Once the servers are completely modified and updated, then we start paying the staff to make sure we have enough to back up on and whatnot. Okay, so here, what you're going to do is whenever you first join the... Well, these is in both worlds. I gotta put this back and plot me. But in order to get your rank builder, you just walk up to the sign and you right click it. As you see, I got that now, which I wish I didn't do that. But, I gotta hang on. Okay. So that will put you in that. That's in all the worlds because the ranks don't follow through, so you'll have to right click that each world you go into. Um, yeah, that's basically that world. There's not really much to it. Survival, you go there, of course you survive. You can find some of your best friends to help you out there. That won't screw you over to help you build, make an awesome base. Yeah, because there's, no, there's actually no protection there whatsoever. I won't even give donators protection over there. Yeah, I'll give it since there's a high price on most of them. I'm not going to do it because it's just OP to even think about doing. So what we're going to do is, the only way to get to the nether is these portals. They both lead to the same exact spot, but, you know, symmetrical. Has to be symmetrical. So I did that. Now we're headed to the faction world. As you see there, my last final episode of that Let's Play series I was doing, you will see there of what exactly some of it, anyhow, of, I was starting to show it off. Okay, then when you come here, there's a push plate here. Spam it all you want. It sends one of my uh, co-owners a lot of messages. There's no reason why I set it up for you. Okay, now if you want to go back to the hub from Factions, you can type slash warp space hub to get there quicker and not have to go all the way back here. Or you can right click the sign. I do it, but it takes forever to get back here. Over here, until we get to plug in citizens to work again, we have heads, which sort of creep me out. As you see here, we are low on staff, really needing them. There is basically absolutely no female staff. We're needing that. We have all the head male staff that there is. But there is also an admin head mod. Well, there is head mod. And we have mod. Those are the three more ranks we need to fill up on males. And over here, 
we are looking for a co-owner and an owner well, an admin we already got an owner for now um, she's still got like almost a month left over until she can actually get back one unless she comes back with a very good reason of what happened then I'll let it slide but we also again we need head mod moderator admin and I think that's it regular mod I don't know if I said that one so yeah be sure to uh, if you're interested go to that website there's a quick easy application to fill out um, I put the age descri well, description right there. You have to be 16 or older in order if you ever want to still get paid. And we'll do the payments through PayPal. Like I say, it saves us money not having to mail out anything. We'll do any extra special checks. Um, but again, we're not going to start paying staff until, until the servers are completely good for the players to join. We have enough RAM to cover everything. Um, yes, we are only running 12 gig, well, 10 gigs to be exact. But when you do slash lag, it doesn't really explain how much there is being that the server has to offer. But I think that's just there because that's what it's using to render their worlds. Because I have a set for 11, of course, the Windows operating systems take at least a missed a gig. So I give it a gig that so it can run smoothly. And yeah, we'll go over here. Um, I was at this building, I believe, in my last video. This is the donation room. This has five packages you can purchase. The packages comes with different items, different kits. Um, they'll come with a different kit that what we will assign of in the uh, actual package itself. So when you buy a package, you'll get a kit. When you do your slash kit, you'll get another kit just for being so generous and helping out the server. Um, some of the staff do help out the server. They'll help find round parts whatnot and either ship them or give them to me that live close by. Um, yes, yeah, the staff it's at home right now at the moment until we can actually get things going properly. We did have the server up to 1.8 at one point in time, but there was so buggy with all the plugins, I just said I can't do this, and we went on with that. But yes, that was, I believe, the cheap. Yeah, that was cheap. Over here we have Pricey, which is, I think, the highest one, 65. Yeah, 65. Then we go over here, the highest one's 250. Which I'm actually the lowest on all the servers I've actually uh, went through. And sorry you heard my phone there for a second. You got advanced donator and top donator over here. Um, I had them special named so top donator is actually God. So Then advanced is Demi God. Yes, um, but anyhow. I would walk it like how you guys would but this is just quicker for me to fly. From the server going back and forth in between uh that's what I'm thinking of crap but anyhow going back from like 1.7 to 1.8 versions the sign boards actually went all to crap so actually so far there's actually been 57 so I'll update that now 57 I mean I'll start putting this back up there when I get a stable version of at least 1.7.9, 0.10, something like that. Because 1.8 is just farly way too buggy to even think of using. I know that's what a lot of people were looking for, a 1.8 server. And that's just nearly impossible with most servers. Unless they're an all mini games type deal server. Um, but if anyone has any ideas of how I can do that without it being all so buggy. And I can still use all my uh, plugins because they're all up to date. They'll work and just fine with 1.7.9. They're the, the most update version I can possibly have. Um, I've downloaded two different version types of it from Spigot, but the bucket I was still able to receive was still more modified than the last, so I just went with uh, the bucket version because it was actually newer, which to me made a lot more sense just to stick with that one. And you'll see of like that right there, it says kit starter coming soon. We do host a TeamSpeak server with hordes up to 512 slots, anybody's welcome to join. It gets quiet on there a lot because there's not very many people joining nowadays mainly because of the time of the year. Um, I'm hoping to see more come along in the near future. I still gotta remove that. But here's the house. And in the link down below, I'm gonna add another link. Uh, it's gonna show you the dine map of this whole world. You go to the right, you can click which one. You can choose surface or overview. I think the surface is pretty cool to look at that, so be sure to check that out. And for those of you who, know, who are new to this and uh, new to my YouTube or you just watch and you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I'm uploading them almost every week now, so I'm trying to keep them up to date and whatnot, and I'm trying to keep it going, you know, try to keep everything going. There's something else I'm trying to think of what it was. Oh, 
This is actually a faction place. Um, I guess it's home. I don't remember which one. Yes, this is it. This is also in the dining map. You, it's, you can't really find it unless somebody's online to find this thing. Because I'm not doing a full render of the whole world. I just do the main parts of it. I say people can't hunt other people down on their houses and whatnot. Yes, that was in a most recent video I just posted today. Uh, that was actually earlier. Me and uh, another guy, we actually did that to get revenge on another or on the co-owner. Which is awesome. But this is the co-owner's place. This is actually awesome, but apparently the walls are going to be getting redone. Which I took a lot of time. I took a lot of time doing that, but... I'm alright with it because this new style actually looks really nice. I don't buy I give him a lot of time, a lot of trouble for it because that's what I do the best. But yeah, this is uh, Outer Haven uh, faction place, so be sure to check him out. Uh, check this place out and see if he'll let you join his faction. He's looking for more people to help build and whatnot. And staff wise, I'm looking, I'm not looking for just Minecraft staff. I'm looking for TeamSpeak web designers, coders, just about everything there is to think of. Um, for staff wise on computers and whatnot, for server hosting, anything to make life easier. And for people that can make plugins, hit me up because I have a brilliant idea for a plugin. And just jump on the TeamSpeak or email me. My email is down there in the description. So just send me an email or something of that you know how to do some, do a lot of plugins, like really good with them, at least semi. Because I have a plugin I want to create. It involves whenever you do the rule book. Okay, I'll go ahead and tell you guys that watch this video at least. Whenever you read the rule book, what happens is I have it set up. So you're basically signing. You're almost like signing a contract. Signing. If you don't sign it, you get screwed over. That's basically that easy. Signing it allows you to have two warnings. Say, if, and for instance, you do something that gets you in trouble, like you uh, disobey a rule, and it either. Requires either a ban or jail. Now, if we if we give you both options to choose from, like a 15 minute jail or 30 minute ban, we'll let you choose. We can say um, slash warning. Well, not slash warning, but just say warning. Whenever you type in warning, that means we're going to bypass the ban, but you get two warnings per month, and you have to renew that every month. And if you don't use them, and every time you renew them, that just adds on. So, what's basically going to happen is, in the book, if you don't send me a message, Legendary Mac at the moment, a message saying, I accept the rules, then you get two warnings added. I'll have everything written down, I so say I know who's who, and since it's going to my mail, like on Minecraft, when you type slash mail send, that helps if I can type, huh? Like, see, I get... Mail, which doesn't get erased until I do clear. Okay, and um, what that's basically doing is saying, hey, I accept, but if you don't accept that, what what's going to happen is you don't get a choice of what your punishment is. We will either jail you, which is more than likely going to be jail because we don't really ban a lot of people. If we ban, it's never very long periods of time because we love to see people come back. When people come back, it's just a lot of fun and people will have even more fun of playing on the server they don't have to keep hunting for a server to play on which in my time of playing with servers it really got annoying like it's like I wish there was a way that they could have let me with a warning or something because I read the rules and it was like for some of the people that don't read the rules it's like they shouldn't even get a warning because they don't even know what's up but by reading the rules it allows you to get away with just a little bit more like say since we don't allow hack clients, say you're using a hack client, we'll say we're either going to ban you if you don't stop using it and reconnect and re-log and use a different one, well not a different hack client, but use a different client at least, and that client, just your regular client, no hacks, then we will let it slide. We can just quit using it. That's completely fine because a lot of people enjoy using it. And that's alright. Some, mod, some uh, mods we do allow, which is raise mini map. That's the main one at the moment, and there's one that you can change your inventory up, which really doesn't bother me at all. And shows you how to create items. That's perfectly fine. I mean, that's not harming any other player or whatsoever. Hack clients are sort of screwing other people over, because you can easily grief or whatnot. Yes, griefing is allowed in this server. But if it comes to a point where you're just doing stupid stuff to grief, like if it's not going on to a raiding grief, 
you're just building stupid noob towers all over the place. We're gonna jail you for almost maybe two to three hours tops, just so we can get things fixed and whatnot. Because we don't want the server looking like crap. And another thing, we do have creeper heal, which allows whenever you blow things up. You can actually go in, you can still go into the base at the time, and still be able to get back out. Or just blow up another piece of TNT. Because it's not that hard to really get, because creepers are freaking insane on my server, you don't know why. I turned, the down, I turned the rate spawn down a little bit, because they're just a bit too OP at the moment. But they're still spawning like they're tomorrow. So what you're going to do is you're going to basically find... Well, where am I going with this? Beep, beep, beep. Okay, creeper. Whenever you blow it up, you get in, you get out. You can still collect anything in the chest. The chest will actually regenerate, so if you accidentally blew that up, you still have a chance to get in. Then whenever it reheals, the other player doesn't know you've been there to hunt you back down. So in a way, it's sort of a win-win. Or you can just teleport out when you're done in there. I mean, it's not that hard. There's slash home, slash spawn, warp hub, warp shop. Um, but the warp shop isn't going to really stay there until I can actually get everything transferred over into the plot world, which shouldn't be too much longer. I'll have somebody help me with that, or if I can get a staff member to do it for me, that'd be awesome, because I'm constantly busy doing other things. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and, uh, if you want to check out more of my videos, go right on ahead. I enjoy people hitting that like button, uh, sharing people are enjoying of what I do. Um, sometimes I have to keep my voice down a little bit of download. I still live with my parents whatnot, you know. So you got to keep it on a little down low. I try to record like around night time, so. That's why my voice changes at time various. And yeah. Like right now, I'm basically got the place to myself. Which is sad. I'm almost 20 years old. I still live with my mom and dad. Well, stepdad. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hit that like, subscribe button. Peace out.